Hello there, my name is Richard McMahon from the interview training website, passmyinterview.com. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to prepare for a laboratory technician interview. So if you have applied to become a lab technician and you want to know how to pass your interview, make sure you stay tuned because I promise to help you be the standout candidate. And to achieve that goal, this is what I will cover during this tutorial. So I will give you a list of lab technician interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I will give you several important tips to help you be the standout candidate during your lab technician interview. I will then give you some brilliant example top scoring answers to all of the interview questions covered during this tutorial. And finally, I will tell you where you can instantly download further resources to help you succeed and pass your interview. So lots of reasons why you should stay tuned. And just very quickly, if you are new to this channel, please do make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have over 2 million subscribers now and literally thousands of you are passing your job interviews as a result of these tutorials. I can only help you if you are subscribed and please give the video a like because that motivates me to create more content for you. And it tells me that you find these tutorials useful. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get straight in to the lab technician interview questions, the tips and the top scoring example answers. So the first lab technician interview question is, tell me about yourself. My advice, tip number one, is to talk about the skills and qualities you have that are a match for the lab technician role you have applied for. Tip number two, tell the interviewer what you will do in the position if they hire you. And don't forget, this is important, to use positive words and phrases in your answer. So let me now give you my top scoring example answer to the question, tell me about yourself. Here we go. Thank you for the opportunity to be interviewed for this lab technician position with your organization today. I would describe myself as a diligent, attentive and professional lab technician who is able to collaborate with anyone in a team to meet the objectives of the laboratory I am employed by. I graduated from the University of Cambridge with a degree in chemistry and during my studies, I learned the importance of being organized, meeting strict deadlines, supporting other students in their goals and developing exceptional report writing and record keeping capabilities. As a laboratory technician, I understand the importance of accurate working, maintaining good hand-eye coordination, being flexible in your approach to work and also taking responsibility for your ongoing professional development. Now, if you employ me as a lab technician, I will always demonstrate excellent time management skills. I will work seamlessly as part of the lab team to meet the organization's goals. And I will always take ownership of my ongoing professional development so I can continually add value to the organization. That is a brilliant, positive, top scoring example answer to that first lab technician interview question, tell me about yourself. And all you have to do is change the highlighted bits in the answer. So change the university and the degree that you obtained or the qualifications you have received. And that will give you a brilliant model answer to work with. Now, in a second, I will tell you where you can download the answers. Or if you want to, you can simply pause the video and write them down yourself. Here's the next question. Why do you want to be a laboratory technician? Now, tip number one, the best way to prepare your answer to this question is to write down a list of the things you find appealing about lab technician work. Tip number two, being at the forefront of research is a positive thing to mention, along with being passionate about continuous learning and development. So here's my example answer to help you. Why do you want to be a laboratory technician? Here we go. I want to be a lab technician primarily because it is a role that enables me to be at the forefront of research and to also do a job that is interesting, stimulating and challenging. Now, prior to becoming a lab technician, I considered the career carefully, especially in terms of the responsibility that comes with the role, 
and the level of academic and ongoing learning that is required. Now, I am passionate about continuous learning and development. And because there will always be demand for professional and competent lab technicians, it is a position I can confidently commit to for the long term. Finally, I want to be a lab technician because I will get to make a positive difference in my work and I will get to collaborate with other like-minded professionals who all have a common objective and who support each other in the function of their duties. So that's another really strong answer to help you pass your lab technician interview. Now, don't go anywhere because I still have more questions and answers to give you. But when you're ready, you can click that link in the top right hand corner of the video and head through to my website, passmyinterview.com. And you can download my full set of 23 laboratory technician interview questions and top scoring example answers, including all the ones we are working through together today. Here's the next question for you. What steps do you take to ensure you and your colleagues are working in a safe environment? Now, this question comes up often during lab technician interviews. Tip number one. Safety, as you know, must be at the forefront of your mind when answering lab technician interview questions. Tip two, talk about the different things you will do as soon as you start work for their organisation that will ensure safety is a priority for both you and your work colleagues. So here's my example answer to help you pass your interview. Here we go. What steps do you take to ensure you and your colleagues are working in a safe environment? First and foremost, I always follow my training and the operational protocols of the lab I am working in. If I am successful, one of the first things I will do in the role is fully familiarise myself with the laboratory and the accompanying rules and working procedures I must adhere to. To maintain a safe working environment for all, I will ensure no food or drink are ever consumed in the lab. I will wear the correct personal protective equipment. I will follow the relevant hygiene procedures, never work alone and also ensure ongoing safety risk assessments are carried out whilst undertaking my duties. I will also ensure the correct storage containers are used. I will label my work correctly, maintain accurate records, provide timely and accurate handovers with lab assistants and other technicians and also take part in safety exercises whenever required. Finally, I will make sure I am familiar with all safety equipment, deal with spillages quickly and immediately report any incidents or near misses to the lab manager for investigation. So that's a great in-depth answer that shows you fully understand what you need to do to maintain a safe working environment for both you and your work colleagues. Here's the next question. What are the most important skills and qualities needed to be a lab technician? Now, tip number one is to make sure you thoroughly read the job description for the lab technician role you have applied for. Because at some stage during your interview, your knowledge of the job description will be assessed. Here's another great example answer. What are the most important skills and qualities needed to be a laboratory technician? Here we go. There are several essential skills and qualities needed to be competent and professional as a laboratory technician. In no particular order, these are excellent team working and collaboration skills. It is important to always put the needs of the team first and work tirelessly towards the defined objectives of the lab you are working in. You need good hand-eye coordination skills, possess strong practical capabilities and demonstrate excellent attention to detail skills because mistakes cannot be made. You must be safety focused, have an understanding of risk assessments and always adhere to strict rules and procedures relevant to the laboratory working environment. As a lab technician, you must be willing to learn new skills and techniques to help solve technical problems and be flexible in your work so you can seamlessly collaborate on several lab projects at once or work additional hours to support the lab team when needed. Other important skills and qualities of a lab technician include the ability to maintain and calibrate your equipment, possess good math and computing skills, be able to communicate information in an easy to understand manner, create concise written reports and maintain your ongoing professional development. Now that's a great answer because it shows you have thoroughly read the job description for the lab technician role you have applied for. And trust me, 
If you do study the job description, your chances of success will increase significantly because then you know exactly what they are looking for in terms of skills, qualities, knowledge, and experience. Here's the next question. What would you do if you noticed a work colleague failing to follow laboratory safety protocols? Now, tip number one, as we have already explored, safety is the number one priority in a lab and any unsafe working practices must be stopped immediately. Tip number two, make sure you give a confident answer that demonstrates your awareness of safety and the steps you would follow in this type of situation. So here's my example answer. What would you do if you noticed a work colleague failing to follow laboratory safety protocols? I would tell them to immediately stop what they were doing and ask them to explain why they were failing to follow the relevant safety protocols. I would explain the importance of following safety procedures and ask them how long they had been operating in this manner for. I would then show them the correct method of working and get them to confirm they fully understood. I would then inform the lab manager about the incident so he or she could provide the appropriate training and supervision moving forward. Safety is of utmost importance whilst working in any lab and a safe working environment would always be my top priority. So that's a confident answer. It tells the interviewer that you stop them immediately and you take certain steps to prevent it from happening again. Now, the next thing to do to help yourself pass your lab technician interview is click that link right now in the top right hand corner of the video. It will take you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can instantly download my full set of 23 lab technician interview questions and top scoring example answers, including all the ones we have covered today during this tutorial. Make sure you go through to my website because on that page, I have also included some really important tips, some more tips to help you get the most out of your pre-interview preparation time. Finally, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's really important because then I can help you not just pass every job interview you ever attend, I can also help you to progress throughout your career and negotiate a salary. Please give the video a like because that tells me you find these tutorials useful. Thank you very much. Oh, and don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I have put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video and it is always a pleasure and an honor to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you all the very best for passing your lab technician interview. Have a fantastic day.